Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, for we, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our, our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of, of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the, the only begotten Son of God, Born, born of the, the Father before all ages, God, God from God, light from light, light, from light through God, God from true God, God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man, for our sake, he was, was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, rolled without end. Amen. The Joyful Mysteries The first mystery is the Annunciation of the Angel to Mary. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second joyful mystery is the visitation of Mary to Saint Elizabeth. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital and pharma staff, security forces, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third joyful mystery is the birth of our Lord Jesus. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, hell and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, the poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this body of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after these our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God that we may, may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, God whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, to the, the same, same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Oratio Imperata, prayer for protection against the spread of COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission we thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick 
with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. For those who are sick, especially with COVID-19. For all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital and pharma staff, security forces, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, airline personnel, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed. Today we celebrate the Solemnity of All Saints, our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Mayan muling magtipon, awitan ng Panginoon, sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin, bayan natin Alalahanin Panahong tayo'y inalipin Nang alan niya'y ating sambitin Paanong di tayo lingapin Mayan muling magtipon Awitan ng Panginoon Sa piging sari niya sa atin sa piging sariwain pagliligtas niya sa atin We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. O 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Walhati sa Diyos sa kaitaasan, kaloob sa lupa ay kapayapaan. Pinupuri ka at ipinagdarangat, sinasamba ka dahil sa dakila mong kalwalhatian. Panginoon naming Diyos, hari ng langit, Amang makapangyarihan, Panginoong Yesu Cristo. Buktong na anak ng Diyos, Cordero ng Ama, Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan na sanlibutan. Nanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan, Ikaw na naluluklok sa kanan ng Ama. Maawa ka sa amin, Ikaw lamang ang banal, Panginoon, Yesu Cristo, kasama ng Espiritu. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice for, to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal. 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes, and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, 
Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the ones who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What shall be has not been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has his hope based on him makes himself pure, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. labor and our burden and I will give you rest says the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, 
or they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Leon Bloy, a writer, once said, Your greatest failure in life is not to become a saint. When you talk about success, when you talk about aspirations, we talk about, when you talk about goals and dreams, what are those? What are those? That I will be a millionaire when I will be 40? What are those? That I will live long? How long? You ask yourself, what are your dreams? Visions and dreams separate girls from women, from boys and men. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if you remove dreams, if you remove hopes, then you will die. But if your dreams, your aspirations fail you to become a saint, then regardless who you are in this world, you are among the nothing. When you fail to become a saint, it means you will not go to heaven. Plain and simple. If you fail to become a saint, it means you will not go to heaven. I remember a church saying only one 144,000 will go to heaven because it was written well you failed to read the whole context because after those there will be countless multitudes in heaven I woke up this morning after doing my prayers checking on the messages, one of the questions being asked was, why is the beatitude the reading for today? Why? <clears throat> and the simplest answer is, it is the easiest way or the best way to become a saint. The best way to become a saint is to have a right attitude. Beatitude or the be attitude in life. When we say be attitude, it becomes an, an affirmative disposition that you should be having. You know this. Many times I have said this. That our attitude is the, the librarian of the past, the speaker of the present, the prophet of our future. It is not your money. It is not your intellect. It is your attitude that will catapult you to where you want to become, to where you, where you want to belong. It is the attitude, not the strength. Wrong attitude will lead you to a wrong place in life. Kaya nga, 
Sabi din na nagsulat, it is your attitude that will betray you in the future. Suriin mo ang iyong kalooban. Suriin mo. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, I want to belong to the multitudes of saints in heaven. How? To constantly remind myself, as the second readings have said, I am among the children of God. And what is the challenge of the second reading? That we may become like our Father. That we may become like our Father. As I always say this, when, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you don't only look, pantay ba ang kilay ko? Hindi mo tinitingnan, pantay ba ang blush on ko? Ngayon, hindi mo na tinitingnan kung may lipstick ka? Kasi, naka-face mask ka naman. Kung may puting buhok, well, sayang. Mirror are created not for those things. Mirrors were created to remind you that you were created in the image and likeness of God. Habang ikaw ay tumatanda, nagiging kamukha ka ba ng iyong lumikha? Yun ang tanong. Habang ikaw ay tumatanda, nagiging kamukha ka ba ng iyong lumikha? Kung naalaala nyo, humingi ang Diyos ng isang pilak at tinanong niya, ano bang ba nakalagay dyan sa pilak in that silver coin? Mukha ni Caesar. Then give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Pag nakita ang iyong mukha, kanino ba mukha ang nakikita mo? Kung nakikita mo ang mukha ng Diyos sa mukha mo, then you give yourself where you belong. And what is the gospel again? The beatitude. Blessed are the poor in their spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Your blessedness is not because you are poor. Remember that. Your blessedness is not because you are poor, but because you are or you belong to the kingdom of God. Kaya lang mabilis tayo makalimot. Mabilis tayo makalimot. Nakikipagpatayan tayo sa mga bagay na hindi naman natin madadala, na hindi mo naman mapapatunayan. Sayang lang. Sayang lang. Again, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, our greatest goal is to be among the saints. And you look at yourselves, nasaan ka na? Nasaan ka na? Hindi yung ikaw ba'y malapit ng mamatay? Hindi. Nasaan ka na? In your becoming, malapit ka na bang maging santo? Sa lupang ito, hindi dahil ikaw ay perpekto. Who among us are the saints? Not those who are perfect. Wala namang perfecto ngayon. Ang perfecto ngayon, apelyedo na lang. Who are among the saints? A sinner who has been trying to become a better person today than yesterday. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, 
he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as God's people on earth, let us unite our prayers with the prayers of all the saints in heaven for the needs of of our brothers and sisters everywhere. In every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may bring all children to the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people of goodwill may receive true life and abiding peace through the redeeming blood of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the Eucharist may give us the strength to lead righteous lives in the hope of joining the saints in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who suffer persecution for the cause of righteousness may continue steadfastly in the way of the saints, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may join the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. God, our loving Father, we offer our petitions with the prayers of the Blessed Mary and all the saints, confident in your mercy, revealed in their heroic lives. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Handog namin sa iyo, Ama, ang tinapay at alak na ito. Sumasambat nagmamahal sa iyo Naway dalhin ang iyong anghel Ang aming panalangin sa iyo Dambana sa tulad ng halibuyak ng insenso sa kalangitan Handog namin sa iyo Ama Ang tinapay at alak na ito Handog ng bayang umaasa Sumasambat ng Brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints, to be already assured of immortality so we may experience their concern 
for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as the pilgrims ad advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory endowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more give you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops in all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti and all the saints of Lysia throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. prayers into one. Let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Swallow a nest. 
just for herself where she may lay her young in your altars my king and my god how lovely is your dwelling place O Lord, mighty God, Lord of all. Blessed are they whose dwelling is your own, Lord of peace. Blessed are they refreshed by springs and by rain, when dryness dotes and skates, behold my shield, my King, and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God, Lord of all. I would forsake a thousand other days anywhere If I could spend one day in your courts Belong to you alone My strength are you your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God, Lord of all. How lovely your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God, Lord of all. Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late in the days coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. 
Stay with me, Lord. For it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intention. We continue to pray for those who are preparing and those who are taking their board exams, especially the physician licensure exams, and those who are preparing for their bar exams. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Please rise. Please be among the saints. Be among the saints. It will all start with a decision. If you will not decide, then you will never become. You start. Whether you run or whether you crawl in becoming one, just do it. Just do it. Be among the saints. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, all saints have their past. So sinners like us have also our future. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God the glory and joy of the saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Freed through their intercession from the present ills, informed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God in your neighbor. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the saints in heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we have our final blessing, 
Let us start today the prayer for our departed brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Lord, listen to our prayers for our departed brothers and sisters whose names we remember today. Kindly mention the names of your departed. They have always desired to do you will, so in your mercy forgive whatever wrong they have done. By their faith they were united with all your believing people. Now in love and mercy, give them a place with your angels and saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Invocation, let our response be, Lord, save your people. Lord, save your people. By your coming as man. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and fasting. Lord, save your people. By your suffering and cross. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your rising to new life. Lord, save your people. By your return in glory to the Father. Lord, save your people. By your gift of the Holy Spirit Lord save your by people. your coming again in glory Lord save your people eternal rest grant unto them O Lord and let perpetual light shine upon them may they rest in peace Amen I said previously that we will be praying for them for the repose of the souls of all are departed until the eve of Christ the King but this year, Christ the King is early. It will be on the third Sunday of the month. So we will be praying for the repose of the souls of our departed until the eve of the first Sunday of Advent. You put the names there. Only the names of the dead. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Pita Dolcedo, Espes Nostra Salve. A te clamamos, Jesus, Filiheve, a te suspiramos, Gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale, Ea ergo, Advocata nostra, Illos tuos, Misericordes oculos, Ad nos converte. Et Iesu, Benedictum fructu ventris tui, Nobis, Of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Ingat po, 